So the common advice you get right now is after the age of 50 to start getting a bone density scan and seeing where your bone density is at. Um, this is great advice and you can also look at a couple other things. Generally women lose bone density faster than men, especially after menopause. And if your family has any history of, of uh, lots of bone breaks or diagnosed osteoporosis, you should probably get a scan. The second thing is that feeling of aging. If you're having uh, aches and pains and, and just you don't feel as strong as you used to be, um, that's common when you age to feel that way. Um, and the reason most people feel that way is they're losing uh, muscle mass and their joints are weaker. Um, and actually that loss of muscle mass is related to a loss in bone density. So if you're feeling older, you might need to check your bone density. The third thing to pay attention to is actually your posture and your height. If you have unexplained changes in your height, that's a sign that the, uh, the discs in your spine are being compressed. And uh, that's also related to a loss of bone density, as well as poor posture is often related to uh, low bone density. So if you have sudden back pain, you might have experienced a compression fracture. Um, this is something that, you know, the most common cause of compression fractures is sneezing actually, um, which is crazy to think about, but that's something that can only occur when you have low bone density. Number five is actually opening, opening up a conversation with your dentist. Um, in some ways, your dentist might actually see uh, signs of low bone density in your jaw, and so they can also clue you in to early warning signs of losing bone density. Number six is nutrition. If you don't have the right building blocks in your body, your body can't do anything with them. So if you get a uh, test of your levels of calcium and vitamin D and those numbers are low, that's also an indicator that you could have low bone density. The seventh sign of low bone density is actually grip strength. And so there was a article published in uh, PubMed Central that showed that correlation between uh, low grip strength and low bone density. So if you're noticing a change in your grip strength, you might have lower bone density. If you're worried about your bone density or having osteopenia or osteoporosis, definitely go get a scan and, and figure out where you're actually at. The gold standard is a full body DEXA scan, and so if you have access to one of those, um, go and get that. Um, also at OsteoStrong, we have a portable scan that we can do for you, um, just scanning your forearm, so not the most exhaustive scan, but it can also give you a better sense of where you're at.